Tunjuk cara repair AC motor uh, bl AC, uh, Blower, aircon blower motor Dekat kereta Toyota Wish Okay, today we'll try to fix an aircon blower motor in Toyota Wish car Basically, that's the motor itself It have three screw One over here And two over there It's 8mm And after you remove the screw, you can pull out this motor Okay, screw dia 8mm Kita just buka tiga screw tu Then kita boleh cabut motor ni So let's continue How to clean your aircon blower This is actually it's easy, very easy things to do And if you bought new one, it's very expensive In Malaysia, it costs around 330 uh, ringgit For the new ones For the Toyota Wish model uh, Which is this one It's made in Japan uh, by Denso so you see this is um, basically the model that I remove the pan the pan is very easy to pry you just pry using this wood make sure to pry using wood because wood would not uh, bend the plastic fins and if you use metal you end up bending all these um, the, the plastic uh, pins which is I sh which is basically the pan of your blower so what happened is the motor fell after I use the inline aircon cooler if you guys out there um, using inline aircon cooler make sure you uh, careful to use uh, be, be, be very careful when using it because once the liquid end up into your motor this um, this aircon blower motor it will um, make the contact as uh, the electrical contact fail so that motor would not spin ok kepada abang-abang dan kawan-kawan uh, sekalian yang di luar sana sekiranya motor aircon anda fail uh, dan dia sometimes function sometimes tak kebanyakan problem berpunca daripada electrical contact uh, yang menjadi masalah di sini kadang-kadang masalah teruk paling pun ialah carbon carbon motor dah habis actually benda tu boleh beli dari online usually dia kos RM8 dah 12 pieces so banyak lah uh, memang sangat banyak jika dibandingkan dengan menukar motor baru kos dia agak mahal uh, di Malaysia untuk Toyota Wish Recon Japan harga dia RM330 untuk ori so berbekalkan ni uh, Aeropack I beli dekat DIY Uh, untuk clean contact electrical tu dan sekarang motor berfungsi I dah test kat kereta tadi buka fan ni tak susah sebenarnya you just buka satu clip clip ni uh, dia akan ok nampak tak clip ni akan mount dekat fan tu so dia akan mengunci uh, 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 pin tu punya grip dekat dekat motor rod ni ok so bila nak cabut kipas ni You just uh, umpilkan dia menggunakan kayu ni Sedikit demi sedikit Jangan guna besi ya Kalau guna besi Kalau anda guna besi uh, Pin ni akan uh, Bilah kipas ni akan rosak Pin dia ni tipis Di perbuatan plastik So dia akan rosak Make sure guna kayu atau plastik Jangan sekali guna besi Okay Bila guna besi dia akan patah bengkok Dan benda tu tak boleh digunakan lagi Okay So for you guys out there uh, For Before you move this pin, this one clip is the metal clip here. You need to remove this. Is easily you don't you need to use plier or you only uh, or either you just pinch with your hand. It's very easy to peel off without tools anyway. Just pinch up with your thumbs and it move up. And if you want to remove the pen, make sure you use wood, not to use metal. Uh, jack it uh, slowly, jack it until these things completely goes off. That's it. Okay. And then jack it on uh, different different side. For example, you jack it this way, spin the pen, jack it the other way. Don't always use that side to prevent uh, the the this one uh, this uh, mount uh, from broken. Okay, kalau nak uh, umpilkan dia, umpilkan dia satu side, then pusing, umpilkan dia satu side, then pusing. Jangan pus uh, umpilkan dia pada satu bahagian saja. 
Kalau tak dia punya mounting pen ni ke uh, motor road ni akan rosak, okey. Okey, so saya akan sambungkan motor ni. Okey. Sebab uh, proses dadan, I actually uh, tak banyak sangat uh, nak tunjuk sebab I buat ni seorang kalau ada cameraman senang. Tapi benda ni very simple, you just spray ni dekat dalam ni here dan sini dan dekat contact tu, terutamanya dekat area yang ni. Ni nampak tak? Cooper contact dia tu kena spray sekali Dan juga yang terdapat pada pin kereta anda tu ah Spray sekali So dia akan ah, Contact tu akan ah, bi, ah, dia, dia akan lebih 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 mencengkam semula Kepada bagian contact di besi tu Ini tak perlu spray lah Kalau nak boleh je Tapi tak perlulah Spray pada bagian emitter tu ya ah, Kita lihat dalam tu Spray pada bagian tu ya Always spray into the emitter of the motor so the electrical contact can build up back again so your motor will perform as new unless this this carbon brush has run out which is easily to replace if you buy online basically it's around um, it's around two dollars for 12 pieces it's very cheap rather than replaces this mod, new motor okay So now kita akan sambung semula I tak akan tunjuk proses sambung dia tu Sebab uh, I tak ada yang pegang kamera ni There's no one holding this cam So I will just I will just assembly this pen And I will show you the end of the process So if you, as you can see here This is one gap That two holes And one gap to the chassis of the motor Actually, is a cooling air that will come inside. That's why I don't like to use the inline, inline cooling, uh, aircon cooling or whatever it is. The what they call it, the condenser cleaning. Man, if that liquid start get into your motor, it will make the motor contact loose. So, do not always uh, try to not to use that type type of um pro uh substance into your AC if you want to clean your aircon move, it, move the motor out and properly cleaning it ok bagi orang uh, penonton viewer dekat luar sana kalau guna yang cecair liquid inline cooling tu hati-hati ya ini ialah uh, saluran penyejuk engine di mana dia mengambil sedikit udara dari aircon anda untuk menyejukkan motor blower ni dan kalau motor ini terkena cecair tu uh, Sambungan uh, sambungan ke elektrik uh, electricity supply dia akan loose so motor tak akan berpusing unless you buka balik so kepada siapa yang menggunakannya I tak sarankan you tak guna tapi just berhati-hati sebab motor mungkin terkena cecair tu dan akan hilang kontak uh, uh, ke saluran elektrik okay so I akan sambung then I akan record semula. So end product dia akan macam ni Lihat klip dekat tengah ni uh, So klip tadi tu dia akan macam ni Kipas ni saya dah bersihkan Make sure keringkan dulu kipas sebelum memasang Untuk meng uh, mengelakkan risiko uh, masalah electrical ya So this pen the end of the product would be like this The blades is already been cleaned And as you can see just now This motor come with hub D uh, Hub D to lock with the pen and the roto uh, the motor uh, the motor road and the clip as we the the clip is actually will be put here to secure the mount and the pen the pen so the clip you just to pinch to open and that's about it some people look to use plier while for me just a pinch of a finger uh, would enough to disconnect it okay So uh, before you put in into the car, just remember to put this uh, this airflow cover back again. So this is the one. So it's just snap like that. Um, you see the first, you need to to align it, and then once you do, just press it. So because I'm holding in one hand. Okay, lepas tu just snap. Yep, 
that's it so it's secure now so let's put into the car and see how it's functioning now so as you can see now it's spinning loud it's just cost 12 ringgit to fix this guy and I'm happy with it it's very loud I tell you dan sekiranya kita lihat moto udah berfungsi dengan baik segalanya berjaya dan peralatannya juga murah tak perlu yang mahal-mahal tak perlu tukar moto baru yang berharga kos tinggi kita dah berjaya Alhamdulillah thank God we'll make it uh, we'll did it and that's all for today see you on the next video guys